against God's laws. Now, like we were saying earlier, we are the greatest nation on the earth. The greatest nation on the earth. But we break God's laws. We break God's laws. And you can clearly see it in our communities today. That's what set us apart from every other nation. In fact, that is what makes us greater than every other nation. We have access to the kingdom of heaven, which makes us greater than everybody on the earth. But we break God's laws. Sister, I want you to come over here and check out this sign right here. Come learn about who you are and what you got to do to get your life right with the Lord. All right? Watch this. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committeth sin, transgresseth also the law. Sis, what does it mean to sin? You go to church? What they say that sin mean? What does it mean to sin against God? You don't know? All praises. I'm glad you admitted that. Because a lot of our people claim that they know what sin is, but they miss the mark. You heard that before in church? They miss the mark, right? Sin is the transgression of the law. The Bible says that sin means to go against God's law. That's right. All right. So what is sin? To go against God's laws. All praises. I'm going to give you a law right now. All right. What's your name, ma'am? Angie. Miss Angie. Miss Angie? Angie. I said it right. Angie. Miss Angie. I'm, or is it Angela or Angie? I'm sorry. Angela. I'm sorry. Miss Angela, all right? I'm Azariah, all right? The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The man shall not wear the which pertaineth. The woman shall not wear the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear the which pertaineth unto a man. Right, so one of those laws that our people are breaking today is, is cross-dressing. The Bible says that the man shall not wear that which belongs to a woman. What are some things, brother, brother, what are some things that you can say today that men wear that women should be wearing? Shoes, clothing, well, be very, Be very specific. Earrings. Nah, depending on what type. There's, there's women earrings and then there's men earrings, right? Right, men, uh, uh, earrings are in the Bible for men and women. All right, but let's let's talk about more article of clothing. All right, what are some things that you see a man walking around today that he should not be wearing according to that scripture that a woman would wear? What do you got, sis? You said pants. Okay, we're gonna get to that. But it says that men read that part again. Listen carefully. All right, Miss Angela. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-two and verse five. The woman shall not wear. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So it says that women should not wear that which pertains to men. All right. So what is that? Pants. Pants. All praises. All praises. You said that before. I'm sorry. You said that before. So women should not be wearing pants today, right? What? Once upon a time, did your your grandmother ever wear pants? That's my right, you all were seen or what? Wearing a long, modest dress, right? So why is it that fast forward to 2022 here in America and all across the world, we have women wearing pants? Why is that? Come a little closer, though, so I can hear you. Huh? Because we sinning against the Lord, exactly. Exactly. So in order for my sister Angela to stop sinning against God, because do you want to sin against God? You don't. You want to be able to get it right. Right? Because you want the kingdom of heaven. Am I right? That's right. Right. We both want the kingdom of heaven. We all do. Right? But we have to stop sinning against the Lord. Right? So the Bible says for women to not wear pants. Right? Like your grandmother used to wear. But fast forward to 2022, we doing something completely different. So what are you going to start doing now that the law has been established? Right, which means for you, stop wearing pants. All praises. All praises. All praises. Do you have on pants right now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All praises. So we're going to get rid of those. We got to get rid of those. All right, so we got to start. Give me, uh, give me uh, that at first. All right, modest. Yes, sir. All right, so we got we to gotta come back to who we are. 
that simple law right there would change a lot for our people. Because guess what? We oftentimes see our young girls, our young women, walking up and down the street wearing tight jeans, tight pants, and they hold behind us up. What do you think that does to our men? Uh, arouse them. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So now that woman that belongs to that to that uh, to that man, she's his wife. She's now walking around with her behind all out, wearing tight pants. You can see all of her curves. She's enticing another man, but she says that she's loyal to that one man. And what does that does for? What does that do for her daughters? Teach them to do the same thing. Exactly. Now we're doing with, we're dealing with an entire community of constantly going through that same cycle, right? So she does that. Now her daughter does that. Now the niece watches that daughter. Now the niece watches her mother. You see what I'm saying? And now the brothers are watching his wife. You see the confusion going on, right? So it's 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 creating lust. It's creating evil within our neighborhood. That's just one law. There's plenty of laws that we break. In. Right, but let me show you, because you already admitted that we got to stop wearing pants as women. Right? A woman got to stop wearing pants. Now, it's not just any type of dress, because don't our, our women go, I've seen, uh, uh, we're we going to let the scripture talk real quick, all right? This is the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. Uh -huh. And like men also, that women adore themselves in modest apparel. In modest apparel. Modest apparel. All right? Who got the definition of modest? And modest apparel, discreet. All right? Not showing off of your curves and club dresses. You wanted to say something. My great-grandma, my grandmother. Mm. I used to wonder when I was young, coming up and watch them get dressed. They got on six slips, two shirts, long red dress. You couldn't see none of their skin. There you go. That's right. That's right. And, and you know what? It, it's, it's, it's madness today because our people will make the excuse that, no, nah, it's too hot outside, I can't wear that. Or, no, nah, it's too cold outside, I can't wear that. Like, there's an excuse to break God's laws. Like, don't you think the most high thought about it being cold outside? But they got the excuse that it's cold outside. Or don't you think the most high knew that it was going to be hot outside? Hell yeah, he, knew, he created the sun. Did he not? He created the snow, he created the cold. Did he not know when he said, daughter, I want you to wear a dress and make sure it's modest. Well, Lord, it's too cold outside. Lord, it's too hot outside. I can't wear that. Is that what we gonna say to the Lord when he come to judge us? We better not say that. Did you ever talk back to your father? You better not talk back to your father, right? So how much the more the heavenly father? Let's get what the word modest means. Modesty, behavior, manner, or appearance. A what? Appearance intended to avoid and preferring or indecency. Indecency. Modest means to avoid indecency. Right? So it's indecent for a woman to walk out the house naked. Right. To go to a beach and think that it's okay for her to wear just a bra and panties because that's what a bathing suit is. Teach. A bathing suit is bra and panties. Right. Teach. Now, if one of these brothers seen you getting dressed in your house and you had the window open, you just got out of the shower and you put on your bra and your panties. And he said, wow, I like what I see. You would call him a pervert, would you not? You should call him a pervert, right? If, if he watches you and he can see through your window and you got on just broad panties. There it is, there it is. You standing in front of the window so he can see you, right? That Take that same scenario and just put you on the beach. You are in the exact same thing. All praise. I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about you. But I'm talking about our, our women out here, right? Our sisters that's out here, right? So they think that it's okay to, to do that at the beach where all the men can see and, put, uh, uh, and cause perversion all throughout our neighborhoods. You see? You see the confusion that we have? But then they want to call everybody perverts. But you're doing what entices a man. Men like women. That's the beauty of that's the that's the reason why the woman was created. Right. Right? To entice the man. Right? But she's supposed to be uh modest when she steps outside and everything that she has underneath the clothes is supposed to be behind closed doors. We used to scream black power. 
while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.